The Dancer class is a classic one in the Fire Emblem series, first appearing in just the third game. However, when it comes to the Warriors spin-off games, the Dancer has been no stranger to them either, and although it saw a moveset in one of the final DLC characters of the first Fire Emblem Warriors with Olivia, in Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, absolutely everyone can take on this unique sword-using, magic-slinging, and buff-wielding class. There are a lot of different parts to this unique class, so let's jump right in and see what it can do. The Dancer's regular attack string consists of seven attacks. You will slash left, right, up, sweep right, slash left, flip and slash left again, and then finish with a spinning dance of cuts forward. This attack string is just sort of average, but like everything else the Dancer does, it becomes much better once you activate your dancing buff. Let's get into how to do that in the strong attack section. The Dancer's first strong attack is the aforementioned buff. When used, you will do a spinning dance attack, and a ring will appear on the screen that moves towards the center. This is meant to help you time out your next button press. You can repeat this attack, which will increase the buff each time you do so. However, each time you repeat this, you will spin part of your class action gauge, which only can refill over time. With the buff activated, your weapon range and eventually your attack speed will increase, not only for yourself, but also for your allies that are nearby. The buff itself lasts for about 20 seconds, however it can be re-upped by dancing again. Just be sure to keep an eye on your class gauge. The timing on this can be a little bit tricky, so my tip for you would be watch for the circle icon to make a big light ball once it shrinks down to its smallest size in the middle. You should not hit the button while the ring is still moving at all. It needs to come down into its smallest point. You really don't need to try to pre-anticipate it. Just wait until you see the light and then hit the button as fast as you can. It takes about five successful dances in order to hit your max buff, and this turns the dancer's generally average moveset into something spectacular. So it's definitely worth learning the timing as soon as you can. Let's move on to the rest of the dancer's kit. For your second strong attack, the Dancer just does a flip which knocks enemies into the air where they can be juggled with further attacks. Your third strong attack is pretty straightforward, just a forward stab. It is a nice source of quick damage. For your fourth strong attack, the Dancer throws out their sword which flies all around you, slicing up your foes. This attack with the Dancer's buff extending it can really take out enemies in an area all around you. Next up, the fifth strong attack is another area clearer. The dancer takes a hop forward and then spins, creating a whirlwind of circular damage just in front of you. The sixth strong attack has the dancer take a stance and then make a flurry of cuts to your front, finishing with one big slash. And last up, for your seventh and final strong attack, the dancer will do another balletic spinning attack forward. However, this one sends off several cuts flying far from your position all around you. Again, with your buff activated, this one is a monster. With all of the Dancer's attacks examined, let's take one final look at the other aspects of this class and then put them all together. The Dancer's Kit is a quite unique version of both a sword fighter and support unit, which of course is pretty fitting to their class from the mainline Fire Emblem games. From their plethora of area clearing attacks, as well as a more straightforward fighting style, they allow players a more in-between sword class that comes to a balance between the calculated power striking of the Mortal Savant and the wildly speedy Trickster. Another aspect that sets the Dancer apart from them is their interesting Buster ability. The Dancer comes with Tome Buster instead of the expected Axe Buster. This makes a Dancer easy to field even if you're taking along another sword unit, as they will both have separate targets that they're good at killing. Additionally, this allows you to turn a female unit into a mage killer, as female characters in this game are locked out of the Brawler, Grappler, and War Master classes, which can be used for that purpose. If you do intend to go with a Dancer, it's also a good idea to learn and then equip the special dance ability that you gain on the path to class mastery, as it will further boost up your dancer buff, which to me is half the reason for taking the dancer in the first place. While I would definitely call them a bit weak in combat compared to the average master class, they have a bit more of a multifaceted job instead of just killing things. For instance, directing one to be your adjutant, or just to fall around a character so you can switch and buff from time to time, is rarely a bad idea. With everything they can do safely understood, you are sure to find out just how easily you can dance your way to victory.
Big thank you to my top patrons Henry Gutierrez, John Morrison, Ryan Poe, and Shin Lu, as well as to all my other patrons. If you'd also like your name to join this list of people supporting the channel, please check out the link in the description. Thank you all very much.